Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno will join the special session of the Supreme Court on Bank on Friday, but will inhibit if the justices vote on the coal warrant of petition to oust her. Sereno shows up at the SC Wednesday after she ended her two-month indefinite leave the day before. Serena spokesperson Jojo Lacanilao says the Chief Justice, as chair of the On Bank, won't block the coal warrant or petition from being included in the agenda. The Chief Justice is always the chair of the On Bank. Lacanilao says, quote, If it's on the agenda, she can't do anything because it's the process. It's in the business of the court, she will just inhibit. Sereno had called for the inhibition of Associate Justices Teresita Leonardo de Castro, Lucas Bersamin, Josdado Peralta, Francis Hardalesa, Noel Tiham, and Samuel Martires, citing alleged bias. It is unclear what the process is for justices returning from an indefinite leave, but Lacanilao says Sereno doesn't need permission to return to office. Lacanilao says Sereno called Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio on her way to the SC Wednesday, but clarifies she didn't ask for permission to return to her post. Rappler sources say Sereno has not met any of the justices face-to-face yet. Malacanang says it respects the office of the Ombudsman's probe into President Rodrigo Duterte's son. Presidential son in resigned Davao City Vice Mayor Paolo Duterte is facing an Ombudsman probe into still undisclosed matters. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says, quote, We see this as part of the Ombudsman's constitutional mandate to ensure public accountability. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales on Tuesday refused to disclose details of the former vice mayor's case, but a list from the office of the Ombudsman shows five docketed cases against the presidential son. The five docketed cases include two for graft, two for administrative offenses, and one for alleged ill-gotten wealth. Paulo Duterte resigned as Davao City vice mayor last December 25, citing family problems and the issue of the smuggled chabu that implicated him and his brother-in-law Manassas Carpio. Manassas Carpio is the Ombudsman's nephew. Morales said she has inhibited from Paulo Duterte's cases. Morales is set to retire in July. The president earlier vowed to resign if any of his children is involved in corruption. Forbes magazine names Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte as the 69th most powerful person in the world for 2018. Forbes cites Duterte's raw and vulgar vocabulary that keeps him in the headlines and his war on crime. It says Duterte's war on crime has since resulted in thousands of deaths. Based on police estimates, around 4,000 have died in Duterte's anti-drug campaign, while critics peg the number at 20,000 drug-related deaths. The magazine points out Duterte was elected Philippine president on the strength of a campaign that promised execution of drug dealers and other criminals. In reaction to the Forbes list, presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says Duterte has many times acknowledged that the true source of his power is the people. Duterte was also part of the Forbes list of most powerful persons in 2016, where he ranked 70th. Philippine National Police Chief Oscar Albayalde reassigns his police Facebook bashers to Mindanao. The move comes after Albayalde tracked down the cops and summoned them to Camp Crame last Monday. Eleven cops are ordered to be restationed at the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. It's unclear when they will begin their new assignment. One of the eleven is a classmate of Albayalde's aide, Joseph Carlit, who belongs to the PNP Academy's Kaisang Bisig class of 2009. On top of the reassignment, the cops are facing charges of conduct on becoming of a police officer. For those who failed to appear before the PNP chief on Monday, they face disobedient charges as well. Albayaldes bashers posted their criticism of the PNP chief on the Buhay Lesbu Facebook page. Vietnam calls on China to seize activities and withdraw military equipment installed on artificial reefs in the Spratlys. The Spratlys is an area in the West Philippine Sea where several countries, including the Philippines, have overlapping claims. Vietnam's move comes in the wake of reports China installed missiles on three artificial reefs in the disputed seas. Vietnamese Foreign Ministry says, quote, Vietnam requests that China, as a major regional and global power, show responsibility in the maintenance of peace and stability in the East Sea, stop militarization, and withdraw military equipments illegally deployed on structures under Vietnam's sovereignty. Vietnam also says it found the installation of missiles deeply concerning. In comparison, the Philippines under China-friendly President Rodrigo Duterte issued assurances the country will not be targeted by China. Vietnam occupies the most number of features in the Spratlys and claims sovereignty over vast areas in the South China Sea. Vietnam has engaged in low-key diplomacy to handle its maritime conflict with China, but has not shied away from military actions to defend its claims in the disputed waters. (laughs) 